Hi guys and welcome. I'm Philip English from RoboFur.com and on this video we're doing a video with Haruyuki Umatsu from the Panasonic Hospit project. We managed to speak to Haruyuki at the IREX 2015 robot exhibition in Tokyo, Japan. Hospit is a hospital delivering robot manufactured by Panasonic. The robot is designed to deliver drugs and other important things from one place to the other. It was first launched in 2004 and at the IREX in 2013, Panasonic introduced a newer version of the robot and began to conduct hospital trials. Those trials were declared successful and Panasonic has been selling the robots ever since. Right, hi guys, uh, Philip English. So we're here uh, on the Panasonic booth um, to do with robotics. We're obviously at the um, Japanese show 2015. And I'm here with a gentleman who's going to run us through some of the new robots these guys are looking into. Uh, so your name is? Ah, my name is Hiroki Uematsu. Okay, very nice to meet you. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the um, two types of robots here. So you've got one type of robot which is for medical? Yes, um, uh, hospi in hospital and uh, this delivery is uh, uh, specimens and uh, medicines. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I suppose the, the, the idea of this robot is it, it goes around the hospitals, yeah. it can deliver drugs, it yeah. can deliver uh, maybe clothing. Blood, blood specimens. Specimens? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So have you sold any of these into hospitals? Are they in ho hospitals now or? Uh, no. Uh, no. Yeah. All hospital was used. Cool. All hospital used okay. yeah, this robot. This, this robot, okay. And is it one? one robot in each hospital or has hospital got a few robots? Uh, each hospital have uh, mm, two or four hospitals. Two to four. Mm. Okay, okay. That, that, that's quite interesting. Um, and these robots are obviously going around the floors like, like they're good. Can they go between floors? Uh, yes, and this robot can use uh, elevator. Um, right. Yes. So it, it's got uh, an elevator system that opens the elevator doors robot can drive in, go up yes. and go down again. Right, okay, that's no, very smart, that's very smart. Um, so, uh, I, I also understand that you have a second type of robot. Uh, can you describe what, what, what the other robot does? Ah, uh, yes, uh, this robot is a communication robot. Okay, and you use it in airports? Uh, yes, in airport and in station for guidance. Okay, I, yes. brilliant. Have you sold any of those robots yet, or? Uh, 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 autonomous robot is yeah. two, two types, at the other type, and uh, agricultural robot and uh, factory automation robot. We can, uh, we will develop the other type robot. Archive robot. <laughs> okay, no, that's very, very interesting. So, so to sum up, you've basically got two robots. One goes into medical, uh, one goes into airports, and they're basically there to assist and do a lot of the manual and easy tasks. Um, obviously, I've noticed that you have a third robot here. So, like, what does this one do? Uh, this is an uh, agricultural robot. Agricultural? Yes, and this picks up the tomato. Picks up tomatoes? Yes, ah, right, okay. Oh, I see, there's a video. Right, we're going to get that going. So, that, so, instead of someone picking them up by hand, uh, yes. this robot goes along yes. and just picks them out? Yes. Okay, very good. Like, when will it be ready? Uh, two or three years uh, after. Two, two or three years after. Okay, brilliant. And is this a robot that goes outside or inside? Uh, this robot. Uh, we think this is inside. Inside, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Okay, now that's right. So you've got three, three new robots. You're doing lots of research and hoping to bring these out more. Okay, brilliant. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant, thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the interview and I want to say a big thank you to Haruyoko from the Panasonic Hospi project for his time and the interview. If you want to learn more about the Panasonic Hospi project, I'll put in the links below for your review. Now if you like this interview and want to see even more robot news, reviews and tutorials, then please hit the subscribe button to get up to date with the latest videos that come out. If you have any questions or want to see a product review of a particular robot, then please write me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.